us to look at this type of problem that involves the quadratic sequence. Remember the quadratic sequence, general term, pen. And also think of factorization when it comes to this topic. Kumbula put it general term yakona Tn is equal to A n squared plus B n plus C. Or kumbula yona utabang in a quadratic equation. Right. We're given the sequence here, which is eight. Uh, 18, 30, as well as 44. The first question, which is 3.1, required us to find the next two terms. When you look at that pattern, you've got to find the next two terms. So we're looking for this term and that term. Those are the next two terms that we're looking for. Now, how do we find them? Let's check what type of a sequence this is. If I say... 18 minus 8, what do I have? I have 10. This is the first difference here. If I say 30 minus 18, what do I have? I've got 12. If I say 44 minus 30, what is 44 minus 30? It is 14. Number patterns. The topic is number patterns. As I write that, we must study the pattern that is being formed there. Look at this pattern. I said this minus that, I got 10, 12, 10, 30 minus 18, 12, 44 minus 13, it's, it's 14. As I write this, a particular pattern here developer. This is 10, this is 12, this is 14. Therefore, you can predict the next one. That is number pattern. If this is 10, 12, 14, you can tell the difference between this one and that one. You can tell that difference. This is 10, 12, 14, so this one will be 16, and the next one. So the difference between this one and this one will be 18. Now, let's do this thing. What is it that we should notice here? If I add this 8 plus this 10, what do I get? I get the next term, in this particular case, which is 18. So 8 plus 10 will give me 18, and 18 plus 12 will give me 30. And 30 plus 14 will give me 44. Remember that in this case, we're looking for these two terms. Let's do this again. 18 plus 10, 8 plus 10, it's 18. Uh, 18 plus 12, it will give us 30. 30 plus 14, it will give us 44. So the next term, 44 plus 16, what, it, what does it give us? This is 4 times 6, it's 10. This is 4 plus 1, it's 5. Carry 1 is 6, so it's 60. So the next, the next first term will be 60. What will be the other one? How do we find it? Remember, how do we find it, this other term? We said 44 plus 16 gave us 60. So 60 plus 18 will give us the next term. So what is 60 plus 18? Uh, 6 plus 1 will be 7, and this one will be 8. So it will be 78. <coughs> Remember, that's how we find the next two terms. As you write this, the first this is the first difference, which is not common. It will help us to find the next two terms. We said 8 plus 10, it's 18. This plus this will give us that one. This plus this will give us this one. As I write this, I picked up the pattern. It is 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and so on and so forth. So that, are, that is how we respond to the first question of finding the next two terms. In this particular case, it was 60 as well as 78. Let's look at the next question that is being asked here. Calculate the nth term. Remember, it's about six marks. Those are the big, 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 big marks. Those are big marks. Six marks. Calculate the nth term. Remember what I said to you about the nth term. What is the nth term? The nth term is nothing else but the general term. In other words, what we are required to find here is the general term. What is the general term of a quadratic sequence? Remember, a general term. I've got to first show that this is a, a quadratic sequence. See, one and quadratic sequence in a second common difference. Since the first uh, difference was not common, let us check whether the, first, the second difference will be common. Let's say 18 minus 16. What do we have there? What is 18 minus 16? Oh, it is 2. But what is 16 minus 14? What is 16 minus 14? We also have 2. Ah, it is the same thing. What is 14 minus 12? I got 2 as well. What is 12 minus 10? I got 2. So I've got the second common difference. The first difference was not common, but the second difference is common. 
That is what we call the quadratic sequence. Remember, a quadratic sequence, even a second common difference. So we definitely know that this is the quadratic sequence. The question is, let us tell you the nth term. What is the nth term? It is the general term, general term. It is the general term yet. It is Tn, Tn is equals to An squared plus Bn plus C. We've got to find the general term. Remember this, guys. If, we, if we've got this one, y is equals to mx plus c, y is equals to ax squared plus bx plus c, y is equals to k over x minus p plus q. If the question says a number one or a number two or a number three, if the question says find the equation, find the equation, turn the equation, follow us, k and look at that question. In this particular case, number one, we find the equation, so it's put out one, m and c. In the second question, we have to find the equation of a, a, a parabola. So it's for now A, no B, no C. Work that in reverse. We have to find the equation. He no I tend. I will tend to Y, I will tend to X. So we have to use it. Same thing now, we have to find the equation. So we have to A, no B, no C. I will tend to no Y, then no X. In this one, we have to find the equation. So it's for now one, OK, no P, no Q in this hyperbola. But in this one, we have to the equation. You can see that this one is the same as this one. It is a n squared plus b n plus c. So it's full of one. So it's a, no b, no c. So I'm just telling the nth term. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now, the key here becomes, how do you find a, how do you find b, and how do you find c? Let's work it up here. To find a, to find a, I'm going to work it out here. Right. To find B, I'm going to work out how to find B in this space here. And there, I'm going to work out how to find C. All right, let's share this together. There are so many other ways of finding this. This one, much more simpler. To find A, I go to the second common difference. I say 2 of A is equal to whatever value that I'll be having there. That's how I'm going about, I'm, I will go about finding A. To find B, I will say 3A plus B will be equal to whatever value that I'll be having there, which is the first difference. But how would I go about finding C? To find C, I will use the formula A to A plus B plus C is equal to whatever term that I have like a in the first term. So these are the three things that you will Caesar to find the nth term. To find A, I'm going to take this one, which is 2A is equals to 2. To find B, I'm going to use that one. It's 3A plus B is equal to 10. 3A plus B is equal to 10. And to find C, I'm going to use that one, which is A plus B plus C is equals to 8. Right. Remember that you are not going to give in this in your examination, so you must know how to, you must remember it. Practice beforehand. Let's find it. Let's find A, B, and C, and plug it there in our formula. We're looking for a. 2 times a is equal to 2. What does this mean? 2 times a from 2. So a, you want to a. 2 times 1 equals 2. 2 times 1. So a, you can end on 1. So a, 1, 1. So I do have a now to push in here. It is 1. Let me find b. To find b, I'm going to use 3a plus b is equal to the first difference there. Right. Let's do this thing. We now know the value of a. So short if you look up and in this case, we want to find B in this particular case. What is our A? Our A is 1. So whether it's A, you know exactly that it is 1. So this is the same as 3 times 1, which is 3, plus B is equal to 10. Let's look at what we have. 3 plus a certain number is equal to 10. 3 plus a particular number is equal to 10. Ubanam can answer 3, I keep it 10. Ah, we 7. Or we should be, we can end up 7. Hence, the value of b is equal to 7. So we now have a, we also have b. Let us find c now. Remember, we to a says in here, no b says in totally, it's a short of c pair. Then we use this one, which is a plus b plus c is equal to the first term of our sequence. Let's do this thing. What is the value of a? Uh, we got it as 1 plus. What is the value of b? Yes, we got it as 7. So it's plus 7 plus. A particular value of C is equal to 8. 
Remember that these are equations. This side must exactly be equal to that side. What is 1 plus 7? 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus what will give us 8? 8 plus nothing will give us 8. So C stands in the omega 0. So the value of C is equal to 0. After this, now that we've got the value of A, we've got the value of B, and we've got the value of C, we've got to go and take it back into our formula, which we call it the nth term, which we call it the nth term or the general term. So our nth term, our Tn in this particular, will be equal to a n squared. What is a? It is 1. We don't usually show 1. When I talk about this, what is this? It's diaster. We have to say 1 diaster. But see, as we know 1 is a corner. But must call so this is a diaster. I say it's equal to 1 diaster. So we know that there is 1 n squared here. So we just call it n squared. We know that there is 1 here. Plus b n, b n, b, 7. So we've got 7 n. What is the value of c? plus zero in the echo. So this is our nth term, the general term. In this particular case, the value of A is one, the value of B is seven, the value of C we don't have, which is zero in this particular case. That is how we find the nth term. Right, let us look at the third question. The third question says, which term of the sequence is 330? Which term of the sequence is 330? Yes, Zulu, let us see bigger rather. It's a length of U three thirty it term yes gag. Yes. U three thirty it term yes gag. Which term of the sequence is three thirty? Because in general spoon n ugu to uba no n in this particular case. No n umele gut term yes gag. Right. I want us to look at that third question now, which is three point three in this particular case. Three point three. Uti which term of the sequence is three thirty? Which sequence is Kulumanga is Kulumanga nth term? Or 330 will have sequence here to we term yes gag. But we know we already have the sequence. It's in the sequence here. It's a Tn is equals to n squared plus 7n. Now look here. If I have this sequence, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, the question is Buza and Anxoti. Which term of the sequence is 8? Oh, which term of the sequence is 8? It is now 8, the term is 4. But my give you a length of e sectinin. Umangabin buza the term and send and double la manangale. So this becomes my last term in this particular case. So when we ask you which term of the sequence is 330, you don't care about the amount of sequence as above 330 in this particular case. So touch 330 in general last term. Then a term you cleaner. Fruit taller with the sequence 8. Dominic Kubilaga Jalo, U three thirty go by ten years gag. That's what we are looking for. We are looking for which E number, U number by ten years gag, U three thirty. Therefore, this three thirty is so as if it term your cleaner. In other words, we'll take it as the last term. Remember, Oguti, U last term, U last term, U yafana, no end term, footy, U yafana, no TN. So this, you must remember it as one thing. So, must it utilize some tata and term your cleaner? Zamuti, some tata and TN. It is actually TN. So, must it utilize term yes gag? Zamutolgo to N Uban. So, instead of TN, we're going to push in 330. Is equals to N squared plus 7N. Kumurutis tell us, look to term yes gag. In other words, we're looking for N. Remember, go to N, which is 2 the power 2, therefore, so tolo N about 2. But it's not total 330, it will give us one solution. So we know that if we clean this one out, I can see the quadratic equation there. So this is going to be n squared plus 7n. Take this one, that side, it will be minus 330 equals to 0. Now I've got my trinomial. I can factorize. So factorization becomes important. Right? I factorize. This is equal to 0. N and N. I'm looking for factors of 330 that will give me 7. Let's work them out. Uh, if I say 330, I'm just showing how to check this. If I say 330 uh, divided by 10, divided by 10, what do I get? I'm getting 38. I've got 10 and 38. It's not giving me 7. I work it out again. I'll say 330. Let me try 15 divided by 15, 22. 15 and 22, they, I, I do get 7 in that particular case. I was fortunate I got it earlier. 15 and what? 
and uh, 22. Right, there are so many ways of factorization. The calculator, you can get your factors using a calculator straight away. Right, <coughs> let's see what we have. We've got plus there, therefore the bigger one must be positive and the smaller one must be negative. We say 15 times 22, you must get 330 as it is. Let's work it out. I've got multiplying two terms and keep below zero, which one of these terms is equal to zero. So it can happen that it is n minus 15 that is equal to zero, or it is n plus 22, which is equal to zero. One of them is zero for me to get zero. Now, if this was zero, what is the value of n? In this particular case, n would be equals to 15, or n will be equals to minus 22. Remember, which is full words, which is 10 years in the with 30. Uma abe spali kuti ten years ngangi, yokala, yes bili, yes tatu, and so on and so forth. There is no way ma spala is into c two minus one do. Therefore, when we're looking for the number of terms, whenever you get a number negative, you reject it. In this particular case, u n is equal to minus twenty two will never be part of the solution because it is negative number. This is only the part of my solution where it says n is equal to fifteen. Remember the question. The question says. Which term of the sequence is 330? It is important that we must respond to the question. Right. Now, this is how you respond to your solution. Because we now know that 330, it is the 15th term. Thank you.